Hello, this is Dr. Jaya Chandra, working as a senior pulmonologist in Kher Banjara Hospitals. I've been asked about the management or treatment of tuberculosis in patients. Now, there are two aspects of managing tuberculosis. One is the individual, that is the patient, him, her, child, whatever it is. That is, first is the diagnosis of the disease, confirmation of the disease in that individual, and to treat him so that he is cured of the disease. But the second part is, he has got the disease to ensure that he has not spread it to other members of the family, mem other members of the family. So it is imperative that we check all other members of the family or close contacts that he has been with to screen them for tuberculosis so that we can prevent them from developing the disease. So that is of foremost importance, especially in our country, when there is a lot of crowding and people stay together and all that. So that becomes an important aspect of management of tuberculosis per se. Now, as far as the individual is concerned, yeah. As I mentioned earlier, Tuberculosis could affect any part of the body. Only when it is infecting the lung that the patient is infective to others. That means when he has got a lung tuberculosis, when he starts to cough, he is coughing out a lot of these organisms which expose other people to the risk of tuberculosis. So, tuberculosis treatment particularly for the lungs, has to be very, very careful in the sense, first ensure that he is not spreading it to other people, so that you can advise the patient to be in isolation, at least at such time that the drugs are effective and he becomes non-infective. Now, supposing you have tuberculosis, some people have tuberculosis of the neck glands, or as I mentioned in the lung, the glands are affected, or say his skin is infected, or his kidney is infected, or his brain is infected. These people don't spread it around. It doesn't spread for these kind of people. It is only the lung tuberculosis which is of danger to other people. Now, as far as the treatment is concerned, we will deal with these aspects a little differently. Lung tuberculosis, as I mentioned, because it's an infective thing, you have to be extremely careful about the treatment and starting as early as possible. These days a new issue which has come up is the, uh, how would you say, the existence of multi-drug resistant strains of tuberculosis. That means these are the bugs which don't get killed by conventional anti-tuberculosis treatment as we know them. So initially itself, before giving them any treatment, after checking up his nutritional and immune status, you do check up whether they are of the conventional variety of tuberculosis or they are the multi-drug resistant variety of tuberculosis because the treatment is very, very different for both these conditions. As far as the drugs are concerned, well, I think it is no point in going into details of every drug that we give for the patients because that's a very specialized topic. So best leave it to the specialist who is dealing with the case uh, and let him advise the treatment. These days there's an excellent tuberculosis control program being rolled out by the government and we're getting some excellent support from them. Not like previous days, but we are getting some very efficient, supportive treatment from the government-sponsored anti-tuberculosis treatment. They do the support systems, they go and talk to each and every patient whether they're taking the drugs properly or not. They make sure that they are given a monthly supply of drugs. And I believe there is some financial incentive also for people who complete the drugs on time. So, treatment is extremely important. One, to prevent the spread and to treat the disease in the individual. The duration of treatment will be anywhere between six months to nine months. 
and in some cases where it is a drug resistant tuberculosis, it can even extend up to 12 months to 18 months. Thank you.